Lightspeed Spanish and this is our word blog series and today we are talking about which word Cynthia? We're talking about um, the words yet, still and even. Ah, and in Spanish what are they? Aún todavía, aún. <laughs> <laughs> aún, todavía, aún. Okay, so which one should we start with? Todavía? Okay. Because that's probably the more common of the, the okay. three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, todavía means what? Still, yet. Still or yet. Okay. Um, so, does it mean still as in not moving? That no. kind of still? No, 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 that would be parado or parado. quieto. Quieto. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. No, it's still as in I'm still working on something, I'm still doing something in the process of. Okay. Okay, let me tell you where I first learned to use this word a lot. Okay. Was with the perfect tenses. Okay. With um, um, have you eaten? I still haven't eaten. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how does it work with that sentence, for example? Uh, ¿Ya has comido? Uh huh. ¿Ya has comido? Do you want the answer? Yeah, with todavía. How would you use that? ¿Ya has comido? Todavía no he comido. That's not true because you have eaten. Okay, ya no. he comido. Because <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> vale, so todavía no he comido. Uh -huh. Still, I haven't eaten. O no he comido todavía. O no he comido todavía. But you, you can't put todavía between he and comido. Right, well, the, the rule is you can't put anything in between you he can't and put comido. Never. No. Never. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to say it never. No, they are inseparable. I've checked it out. I'm sure there'll be one <laughs> Somebody go and excuse me, but yeah. actually you can. We'll have no, somebody you going, you can say this. You can't split them up. So, todavía no he comido, o no he comido todavía. Okay. Yes. Or right. you can say, you can use aún for that. It means the same. Right. Now, because we, Cynthia mentioned aún twice. She said the same word, aún, but she was actually saying two words. Because one has an accent yes. on the U, so yes. aún is A-U-N. And one doesn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have different meanings, don't they? Uh huh. Okay. So, what's the one that you use when you say "aún no he comido"? Which one is it? With accent or without? With an accent. With. With an accent. Because that means. Still. Still the same. Or yet. Or yet. Okay. But todavía and aún, they both have an accent, and they both mean the same. Okay. Okay. So still yet. So. Um, the one aún still with an accent, yes? It still has an accent. It still has an accent. And todavía it's also still. has an accent. So the one the two that mean the same both have an accent. Oh, they have an accent. Okay. The one that doesn't have an accent is the odd one, which means even. So is the uh, the aún with an accent and todavía can they are they completely interchangeable? Yes. In, in any sentence, you can sort of interchange yes. them. Let's not say any, let's not use this. I'm not going to say em, em, <laughs> in every single case. Okay. Yes, I think, yes, uh -huh. they are interchangeable. Not in English, because you can't change still and yet. Uh -huh. Well, maybe in some sentences I you can I still haven't eaten, I haven't eaten yet. But it depends, because you've got these little rules of what do you mean? Do you have it depending on the tone of voice? Yeah. You say yeah. these or the other? Haven't you eaten yet? Yes. Yeah. Um, Okay, and also in English, for example, for still goes at the front of the sentence. Yeah. And um, yet comes at the end. Still at the beginning of the sentence. Yes. Yeah. I still haven't eaten. Still, we can't say I, I haven't eaten still. You have I first. But if you know what I mean, it goes at the front <laughs> before the ver before the verb. <laughs> I still haven't eaten, or I haven't eaten yet. But in Spanish, you can move them, can yeah, you? Yeah, you can move them. I think it's difficult in. It's more difficult in English. Mm -hmm. And in Spanish, because in Spanish you can put it at the beginning or the end, yeah, and you can choose between aún or todavía. Okay, okay. Which which is your preference? Which one do you use? I don't you have don't a have a preference. No. No. Mm. I've got to say that I use todavía much more than aún. Maybe, maybe todavía. Yeah. Um, okay. In, in questions by themselves, like todavía, uh -huh. like estoy comiendo, somebody says, uh, I'm eating. Are you still? You can't say still. Still? Can you yeah, say yeah, still? yeah. Still. Then uh, in that case, I would say todavía more than aún. But you can say aún as well. I suppose it's because 
in terms of putting emphasis, is yes, a better so word to emphasize, isn't it? Well. You can't go, aún. Aún, o todavía. Todavía. Uh -huh. Okay, so what's left, the aún without even. the accent? Yes. Even. Even. Could you give us some examples of some sentences with that in, with even? Um, ah, I can only think of uh, aún así. Aún así, which is? Um, for like example, I can so, say, yeah? you get on my nerves, even so, no, 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 how would you say that? You get on my nerves, but I still love you. Yeah, but, but even so, I still love you. But even so, I love you. Okay, I still uh -huh. love you. So you would say... Me estás hablando me, Yes. <laughs> 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 me, me tocas las narices, o me cabreas, pero aún así, te quiero. Mm -hmm. Okay, aún así. Even so. Or you can say, aún así todavía te quiero, if you want to put the still. I still, even like that, even so, I still love you. Give, yeah. You give me one, with even, because um, it's easier for you to think. Desperately trying to think of one, okay? All the evens I can think of, I have even something, even. even. So, I think it's, because it tends to be even so, um, um, or oh, he's even, uh, all right, he's even got a dog, but I don't know whether that would... He's even more, he's even more intelligent. Yeah, than es, I expected. Okay, than I expected. Es aún más inteligente de lo que esperaba. De lo que esperaba. So, aún más inteligente. Okay. So, virtually the same ways we use even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't mean even as in no. equilibrado. No. Or, or, and it doesn't mean even as in odds and Odds and evens. Even. No. no. Mm -hmm. That's a different one. Yeah. Just out of interest, how do you say odds and evens? Uh, I always get mixed up because I don't know which even one is. is um, <laughs> I can't fix anything. All right, odds in Paris, no? Because odds for me, odd is weird, isn't it? Odd is, is so which one, one is the weird three, one? Five, ah, so the weird seven. one is the one with no no partner, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's impar. Impar. Yeah, yeah. Impar. And even. Par. Par, which is the same word for pair, which makes sense, doesn't it? But par is not is pair, but it doesn't mean couple. No. You can say a couple of things, un par de cosas, yes, uh -huh. but not a couple as in people. No. That would be pareja. Pareja. Mm -hmm. Which I suppose has, this, has that root, it doesn't has it? Par, yeah. 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 So, par, impar. Par, impar. O odd, um, even, odd. Yes. Yeah? So, even mm -hmm. is par. Okay. All right. So, so, we've got todavía and aún with the accent. Yes. Both of those mean still. Yeah. Both with the accent, both mean still. Yeah. And then... And yet. And yet. And then aún... And aún, without an accent, means even. Even. Yeah. Okay. Que bien. I can hear you're hungry. Are you hungry? Todavía no he comido. <laughs> todavía no has comido. <laughs> no, todavía no, y tengo hambre. Se nota. <laughs> vale, Gordon. Okay, so that's it, yes? We hope that's helped. Okay. Nos vemos. Y nos vamos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.